Hello everybody, this is Angel Rakechi here again and today I'm going to show you a fix that almost all computers have that is your low virtual memory um, one of my fix and tips for your computer well to start off uh, the virtual memory is um, some space that your computer requ requires to put some data on it so it can help your RAM memory so it can process be better the data and can easily run faster if you have the more space when well, your computer can run faster so um, to start off um, I'm going to do this uh, video right here real quick and uh, after I finish this this video right here I'm maybe going to tell you some experience yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna tell you some experience that I had um, a few days ago so let's get started like my previous videos um, this is based on Windows NT XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Basically, what the um, virtual memory does is that it helps your RAM memory, you know, collect some of that information and put it in your hard drive so it can manage it easily. So the first step, I'm gonna go quick this this time. The first step that you gotta go is to go to your to my computer. I'm gonna show you. You click right here then when you get to your computer you're gonna right click it after you right click it you go to your properties then this is the system properties you're going to go to your advanced tab when you go to your advanced tab right here the one of the the first option is the performance and you just see in the last part of the description says virtual memory right here so you're gonna click the settings after you click the settings you're going to go to advance another tab in the advanced tab in the lowest part of the of your tree I'm sorry of your tree choices right here this is the virtual memory right here you're gonna click change after you click change you will have your initial size and your maximum size as you see right here um, when I installed the Windows 64 operating system well it did it put this by itself you know it suggested the memory size but some computers got like a one one gig of virtual space that they're using is on megabytes right here but you know 1000 is one gigabyte so your what you have to do is raise the maximum size of your virtual memory and your initial size if you have low low space on your hard drive you can put a like, maximum of 2 gigs and the initial size you can put 1 gig and like my case if you got uh, plenty of space in your hard drive you can put a maximum of, of 4 gig and the initial size of 2 gigs 2 gigabytes for your memory so after you change your initial size and your maximum size you're gonna set the size then you're gonna click ok when you click ok a message pop up saying that you got to restart your computer so that can take effect your size you know you're running your system so that that got to go to your system to your system option and rewrite the small size and the big size again so you click ok then you click ok back here or apply then you in your system properties you click your OK then you restart your computer when you restart your computer 
and that will actually help your RAM memory and you won't get that same message again that says that you got the, your low virtual memory and that actually helps running faster your computer so the faster your computer you know the better performance and the better things you get out of it well before I go I want to share a really quick experience with you you know that I keep insisting on saying that Windows 2000 or T or NT sorry or XP system well I, re I remember something that my professor told us when um, I was studying he told us that be prepared to face some dinosaurs when you go out there fixing computers and when I a few days ago when I was going to fix uh, some guy's computer uh Suve how's it pronounced I forgot Suve Your or something like that that guy's computer was uh amazingly a Windows 98 computer it was it was running Windows 98 and it was and he got Windows 98 because he was using a program on DOS so basically uh you don't you don't really if you're using a computer and you you need it just the way it is and you don't, you don't need to spend more money on it like i that guy show me you know basically you don't got to buy upgrade your system or stuff because dos doesn't work on windows vista and 7 or if it works it you know gets some faults and doesn't run very well so that's makes the so that's the point that i'm keep insisting on the old system so keep keep that in mind and i hope you like my videos and i will po post some more soon so subscribe to my channel and see you again next time